Up for sale I have a 1973 Beetle, now I believe it's a Super Beetle, finished in black with all black interior, white convertible top, 4 speed, 1600cc motor, I'm going to walk around it, ugh, walk around it, tell you about the car, point out any flaws that I do see, fire it up and then drive it, so if you enjoy the video please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more, thank you. Um, so I believe it's a Super Beetle, almost positive, in my research I found that the um, spare tire cover, spare tire that's down there like that, shows it's a Super Beetle. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's it. Um, close this for now. Finished in black with all black interior, kind of custom interior, all custom interior. And uh, do a quick little walk around of it. And then I will do my heavy walk around and then the uh, 1600cc motor that is new. I have the original air cleaner for it actually that goes with the car. Now they said new with a thousand miles. Now whether that's new crate motor or new rebuilt, I am not sure. Convertible top is in super nice condition. The fitment in the front is excellent. As well as the fitment around the doors and the, the glass and whatnot. So it fits very nice. Glass is nice as well couple of smudges on there but I will put the top down just to make it easier for going in and out of the car so bear with me as I get set up here best part about the Volkswagen Beetle is that you can do the convertible top by yourself I know on Corvettes not too easy like that again admire the frame beautiful frame for the uh, convertible top drop it down like such now I do have the parade boot for it you saw that in the bonnet when I popped it open so let's hop into this it is finished in black I, I kind of like to call it a little resto mod but it's not the white letter with the VW wheels kind of got a really good look on it with the all black body with the custom interior a little different shifter and the new motor you know all mechanically ready to go uh, chrome is in nice condition I will go over it nice and slow here so you can get a better idea body has no rust all the trims in pretty nice condition just a little bit of pitting on these because this is probably your your cheaper chrome rather than the chrome bumper itself On it is super nice, you know, a little touch up right there. It's a longtime Texas owned prior to the owner I got it from, and they owned it for three years. I'll pop it open now, get a better glimpse of that. Here's the boot, it's got this nice little carpet, a little package that goes along with it. And the uh, underhood super nice as well, along with the hinges. I'll leave that open. Original VW tag and another tag down there. Both look to be original to the car. A little, a little mark and a touch up. Not too much that I can say. Um, I won't take too much time walking around it. We'll make this short and sweet. A couple of chips that have been touched up on it. Another little guy there. Um, all the glass is in super nice condition. Even the door panels are custom along with that. And it's all new custom too. Now the odometer shows 981 miles and they said that the motor has that on there. So I assume maybe the build, maybe it was done five years ago, six years ago, not really driven a lot. I mean, you don't put a lot of miles on these cars unless you drive them all the time. I know the sun's hitting it, but it is black. It's making it look a little gray, but it is all black interior. You'll see it in the pictures that I have on the ad, uh, the actual color. 
the video and the sun sunlight. <clears throat> Excuse me. The thing that I love is the dash is beautiful. Kind of like Porsches, you would get cracks on these a lot. A little bit cheaper put together, more hard. Um, windshield's excellent. And it's been serviced on, well, it's due on 4,000 miles. And as you see, 9,801 recently serviced. War speed. Carpet's real nice. Dash is beautiful. Different radio. Let me push this forward so you can see it. It is black. I know it looks gray. Another little tag in here, manufactured by Type Car original sticker. I believe the last 73 Volkswagen that I had did not have that tag. I know the VIN stamped in the mirror, or not in the mirror, in the, uh, right here on the plate. Rear bumper make, makes the uh, first bumper almost identically. Very nice, couple little marks on it though. Again, it's that better chrome, so you're not getting the little faint pitting like you would on something that surrounds the lights or the headlights. Like I said, I do have the original air cleaner for it. Nice under hood. Trying to think if there's anything else as I'm going around it. Dual exhaust. A little line here looks to be from that original um, step up panel, whatever this is called, that goes up around it, the little line there. It's kind of the door. It is right. I, had, I didn't have it shot all the way. There we go. A little mark on the door here and a little touch up. Again, nice door panel, the all new interior. Got the seat forward already. Like I said, it will be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video, so you can check it out if you want. If you are here, I'll leave that seat like that. If you're here from eBay, welcome. If you're here from YouTube, also welcome. Please don't comment down below asking me what the price is, because I won't respond. Links are in the description. That's all I got to say. 73 Volkswagen Super Beetle. Finished in black with all custom black interior. New 1600cc motor. Convertible, white convertible top. Four speed. Texas car. Couple little marks right here. I'm not sure if this rubbed up against something. Couple little touch ups here. And a couple touch-ups right there. So thanks for watching. And um, actually, looks to be a couple more marks right there. Thanks for watching. Uh, we will fire it up soon. 73 VW Beetle, Super Beetle. It's black, black, white top, four speed, uh, Texas owned. Thanks for watching. And uh, here we go. Hurry up.